Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Zach Reminder, and I'm sorry I haven't uh, made a YouTube video in over a week. Um, I've been really thinking about what I've been wanting to say, and you know, of course, if you watched the last video, you would know that I haven't been coming up with any ideas because I've been trying to impress you guys. But I said from day one that I wanted to, what I wanted to say came from God and not just say it to make people happy. I mean, obviously I want you guys to be happy. I want you guys to, you know, like my content and stuff, but I want, I want it to not just bring a smile because I, I mean, obviously I love smiles, but really just hit you know so i have a verse finally <laughs> that i came across uh, last night actually um if you haven't downloaded the bible on your phone there is a uh a setting to where you get a verse every night or depending on you know when you sign up for it you'll get every 24 hours you will get a new verse and it will, you know, it touches me a lot. So, obviously, if you haven't read the title of this video, worrying is uh, it's a big, uh, it's a big strainer on uh, on our lives, and it can cloud our judgment. Like if. I'm worried about how my content's going to be, then I'm not going to, you know, I'm just I'm not, if I'm worried about what I'm going to do tomorrow, then I'm not getting anything done right now. You know, take everything step by step, day by day. And not try to get ahead of yourself. Because the more you think about what's going to happen tonight or tomorrow or the next day. You're going to be so worried that you can't get things done. And then, and then you're going to, you know, and then you're going to stress yourself out even more. So Matthew 6.25 is very, I mean, it, it's just plain and simple. And I'm going to read it. This is what I tell you. Do not worry about everyday life. Whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear, isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? You know, sometimes we get wrapped up in, uh, get wrapped up in. to try to be happy, you know, when you have God in your life, that's joy, and the only thing that can take away joy is the devil interfering, and, you know, the devil will try anything he can to pull you away and to get you to worrying about every little thing that probably won't even matter in later on down the line. You know, losing sleep, not eating, uh, can really put a strain on your mental health as well as your physical health. And it can put a strain on your relationships with people. It can put a strain on your life. It can kill you even. Because, I mean, I've known a lot of people who they stress themselves out so much that they start losing hair. That's, that's dangerous. If you're losing hair, then, you know, please talk to someone, uh, talk to a pastor because that's really important. If, you know, 
because especially if someone who has spiritual uh, knowledge and wisdom they uh, but don't just don't just depend on people because they'll let you down because we're all humans you know we're not perfect so we have to we we have to know that God is in control and not just put our and not just depend on people because if you put your hopes in someone you you know you'll be disappointed you'll still be in the same rut you were in and you'll still be worried about how is things going to get better uh guys if you haven't watched Stephen Furtick he's one of the best pastors I've listened to I was listening to uh to one of his uh one of his videos about five ways five I think it's five ways to uh get rid of anxiety I, I'm not sure don't quote me on it but it's something like that and worrying is basically spinning you're just not getting anywhere you're just going in the, you know, it's almost like a rotation. You know, you're just rotating, but you're not going anywhere. And sometimes you have to go through a lot of crap and a lot of, you have to call, you know, crawl through mud sometimes just to get to the good. Because pain on earth will not last. Pain on earth will cease after we're gone. You're a Christian. You know what I'm talking about. Everything right now is temporary. But in heaven, that lasts forever. That is a joy. That is a peace. That is happiness beyond measure. So, don't feel like that my life is over. This is it for me. Because if you think about it, God has everything in line for all of us. You know, we all have special talents and we can all get through things because think about the time that you, think about a time where, you know, worse than, because I know that in life, it can be stressful, and I understand for sure. But think about the time where you, where it was worse. Because there was a time in my life where I thought, you know, it's over for me. I'm done. I'm going to drop out of high school. I'm going to, you know, just not be who I want to be because I'm not getting anywhere. And I had to crawl through mud in school, you know? I had to stay up a lot. And it was all worth it. And the sacrifices we make now will, will be worth it in the long run. I have done so much better in my academic career, you know, academics like school and stuff. It's beyond, it's, it's surreal to think about. So if you're going through something right now, just know that God is just, God is there with you whether you see it or not. God is carrying you through everything that you're going through right now. So just know that it's not over for you. It's not over for me. It's not over for any of us. Um, continue to pray for people in Ukraine. They need it because... You know, it, it's sad to see people that without homes that are dying and that needs hope. So, you know, just do what you can, you know. If you have to send money to charities, do it. If God's wanting you to do something, do it. Don't second guess it. Don't try to think twice. If, if you know God is talking to you and asking you to do something, do it. 
without any second thoughts, without hesitation. But know that the devil can try to intervene. Because, like I said earlier, the devil doesn't want us to be happy. The devil wants us to be, excuse me, the devil wants us to be in a rut and wants us to think we're in a rut all the time. You know, there's a song, it's it's an old hymn, but uh, it was like, count your many blessings, name them one by one. Because we've been blessed beyond measure nowadays. I mean, we got phones that we can talk and text on, especially like when people have COVID and stuff. You can't, it's not like you can go see them. So you, you FaceTime them, you, you know, you talk to them. And, you know, I mean, we have TVs we can be entertained by. We have houses that we're living under. Not everybody has a house, water, food, and clothes. That is essentials that people need. And if we, I mean, if you have more than that, you're, you know, you're, Beyond blessed. No matter what, just because something bad may happen right now, just know that you are being blessed and you you will continue to get blessed as long as you put your faith in God. You'll get blessed no matter what, but as long as you have faith in God, you will see mountains move. You will see them crumble. And you will see them move faster than 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 you can ever imagine so uh i hope this video helps uh it's not something that you know it's something you know that we all struggle with of course i'm not going to tell you that i haven't gone through anything like that because you know at the end of the day we're all humans and, you know, you can have all the confidence you want. You can have all the money you want. You can have a girlfriend. You can have nice vehicles and nice houses and stuff. But at the end of the day, we're humans. We have emotions. And we're going to go through things in life. We all go through things right now. So, lean on each other. Love each other. Respect yourself. And you're awesome. Remember that. Hope you have a good night, and God bless you.